roller. There are many advantages to using a roller to apply primer surfacer. One of the advantages would be that, first of all, there's very little to no masking required. The second thing is it meets the NESHAP, which is National Emission Standards for Hazardous Air Pollutants 6H rule because we are not spraying primer surfacer. We are rolling it on. Now when you roll, you cannot select just any kind of roller you want. You can't just go to any home store, any type of hardware store and buy just any type of roller. They don't all work. You have to buy one that's specifically designed for solvent-borne paints. And you can pick these up at any Sherwin-Williams Automotive branch or independent distributor of Sherwin-Williams Automotive Finishes. When we mix it up, I'm going to be using a, a cup like this, something in a small format like this here. Now before I start rolling it on, I'm going to kind of clean a little bit of this up on the brim of the cup, and I'm going to go ahead and start rolling our first coat of primer on. So you're just guiding the roller along exactly like I'm doing here with minimal pressure. And you allow this to flash off a little bit, and you come back and apply your next coat approximately an inch or more beyond the previous coat. So now I repeat the process one more time. I dip the roller in. Against the edge of the cup, you get rid of some of the residue. And I will begin rolling my second coat. You can easily see where your second coat is being applied because the primer is a lighter color. As it dries a few seconds, it turns darker. So it's an easy built-in guide coat for you so you can see exactly where you're, you're rolling your new coat of primer on. And now I'll go ahead and apply my third coat. Normally the number of coats that we're going to apply depends, on, depends upon how much fill we, we think we need. Normally, as a range, it's going to be between three to five coats. This rolling of primer surfacer is dependent upon the shape and the contour of the vehicle. It will not simply work in certain areas, such as around a fog light or a very intricate design part of the vehicle where it's just hard to maneuver the roller. Now here's where I'm going to utilize my dry edge of my roller. I'm going to take the dry edge of the roller and I'm simply going to move it over the outer edge of that primer, pressing down as I go. The purpose of this is to press down that outer edge so it does not create that stair step effect. And now our job is complete. We hope this video has been of help. Thank you for taking the time to watch it.